hackers go where the resilience is least. And Europe is being hit harder than many other continents. <laughs> Welcome to this live stream talking about the state of cybersecurity within the EU and specifically the NIST 2 directive. What even is NIST 2? Can you briefly describe the scope and why it is important? Well, it's Europe's uh, flagship on cybersecurity regulations. The basic of it all is the internal market. So if you do business, you have, I don't know, manufacturing companies in Romania, the Netherlands, Germany and Italy you're being treated the same, which is very nice. And so <clears throat> we've created um, better regulations for cybersecurity that entities especially should protect themselves better. The member countries were quite reluctant to adopt uh, NIST. What are they reluctant about? It's a member state competence, a national competence. We will deal with it ourselves. That's what member states said. But now they see, like, if we share information better and we can create an ecosystem, for example, for indicators of compromise after, during an attack, even before an attack, that's interesting. So we try to my, make a new legal basis to share information. We want eventually this ecosystem to be the basis of protective DNS, for example. Why don't we flag malware domains and make people aware that if you click on this false email, you get a red screen saying, this might be something you don't want. This is probably malware. It's a free country. Click if you want. But this is not the way that you want to be served. You're being fooled. And this is something we could actually do something actively. Protective DNS, warning initial ransomware victims. That's, this is something that we really want. There's massive skill lacking in the EU. How do we bridge this gap in Europe? We've created a market for cybersecurity with this legislation as well. And in a market, demand will grow and universities will see it's interesting. So more and more universities are adapting and are offering um, uh, computer sciences uh, courses and, 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 and cybersecurity courses. And I really commend that many youngsters listening and thinking, shall I be studying something with computer sciences? Yes. Yes, do it. It's wonderful. That doesn't mean that cybersecurity is only about research, doing research on vulnerabilities. It's also about protecting companies, researching adversaries, doing something on the government level with private companies. The legal basis is now here in Europe. That's what we created. And there's plenty of work for skilled people.